What's up, everybody? Welcome back to an all new exciting episode of Conflicts. Today, we'll be talking about Anki, the company that went out of business about six to seven months ago, and exactly what is going on with these particular robots. Now, for instance, both of these robots have dropped significantly in price. I mean, you can buy a vector for under a hundred dollars. So it literally makes you wonder exactly what's going on. Now, just recently, there's been news of Anki's assets being sold to a private company called Digital Dream Labs. This here is a robotics company that focuses on children education in terms of STEM education goes. So what is their plan with these particular robots? Well, originally they wanted to go ahead and add it to their lineup and they even said they got it for a pretty good price. But, and further upon discussing, they have actually discovered some interesting things. For instance, there's two robots that Anki never announced that they've actually got the assets to, which is Bingo and Whiskey. Now, they haven't really given us much information in terms of what these robots are about. However, Digital Dream Labs does intend on releasing this before winter 2020. Now, first off, for most, uh, the company itself wants to go ahead and continue Cosmo and Vector and include updates for future, so that's going to be their main priority. And hopefully in the future, they'll go ahead and create a nice lineup of products from the younger generation to the older generation being Vector and exactly deeming what's best worthy. Now, what does this all mean in terms of the future goes? Well, hopefully we'll see something really exciting. Now, there's been rumors about a subscription plan for Vector. So if you want to go ahead and update it or get certain different uh, features, you'll have to pay a subscription package. Now, again, this is strictly a rumor, so hopefully it isn't that case. But then again, for the robot and its cost and how cheap it is, I can actually kind of see it happening. But hopefully we won't see that aspect goes. Now, there's also another subscription package that people have been rumoring about on the idea of that you can go ahead and almost essentially finance a robot. So you go ahead and just do a monthly payment until you pay it off so it makes it more cheaper for everybody else. Uh, but again, it's really hard to say. There's been a lot of different speculations, a lot of different things going on. So we'll see exactly what the future holds. Now, is it exciting news? Yes. I mean, it's at least the brand itself or the robot itself is not dying altogether. So hopefully there'll be some life for these two cute looking robots. Now, with that being said, if you guys had any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.